Hey guys, it's Jana, and today we gotta pick up and clean up and just kind of spot clean this entire house because we're going to market and we gotta look beautiful. I am so excited. I hope the sale of this house goes really well. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now, so it's a little iffy, but we gotta do it. I mean, we already bought the other house, so. I'm really excited, but we're gonna get this place looking gorgeous, cause it's happening. So I hope this motivates you to clean up and pick up your entire house today. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Be sure to share this video with all your friends. Let's make this house showroom ready. This kitchen is such a mess, so I gotta get this all cleaned up. I always like to start with the kitchen because it's always the messiest and just get it over with, right? And then we also have all of our Easter stuff still out. I honestly didn't put any of the Easter stuff out until the day before Easter. Actually, Emma did it. I didn't even do it, but... <laughs> So we kind of left it up a little bit longer just to enjoy it. So I also have to put all the Easter stuff away. The baddest one you've ever seen. You're shining bright as crystal, moving like a twister. Ooh, I'm swaying to the hips, boy, loving every disco. Ooh, so you say you're loving somebody else. That I am only for tonight. Yeah, you say you're gone and still you're in my Gotta empty the dishwasher. We have been going through dishes like crazy, probably just cause we're all home all the time now. And there's Quinn trying to get a snack. Kind of dream, the baddest one I've ever seen. All night, all wild, howling at the moon. You've got me in a place unknown. Free falling and I'm letting go. You're shining bright as crystal, moving like a twister.
Don't care if I get out of line. You feel that I don't have a whole bunch of Easter stuff, but what I do have is really special to me because a lot of it was my grandmother's and she actually passed right around Easter. This year, her death anniversary actually landed exactly on Easter. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like 20 years ago. So it's always really special to get all the Easter stuff out. And that's kind of why I left it out for a little bit. I'm gonna get these counters and appliances nice and shiny so I will get these all cleaned up and then I will use my polish and get the countertops super clean deep and we're alive living life underwater let's spend all we've got getting buzzed you pretend you're a god I believe I'm a soldier we play hide and seek till you draw Love ain't We are actually gonna be selling our entertainment center. We found a little TV stand that we like and we bought that, so that will be coming. So I gotta put this up on the sell page on Facebook or something and get this sold. And there's Quinn behind me, I think finishing up his last class of school. Online's been doing 
pretty good. I can actually keep up with them and make sure that they're getting everything done. So it hasn't been too terrible. The office downstairs is already practically empty, so I don't have to do anything in this room. Of course, a quick wipe down in the bathroom is always a good thing to do. No matter what I do, there is always watermarks on the mirrors, so I'm just gonna give everything a quick wipe down. And under the stairs got crazy. I think we were all pretty lazy with our shoes and we just kind of flip them in there. So uh, I think I figured out a better solution for the new house. So I hope you guys like the new solution and we'll find out when we get it. When you're trying to sell a house, make sure to take the trash out. You don't want any weird smells up in your house. Get a candle lit, something, and keep it nice. So the toy room is actually pretty good. I just needed to straighten up the games just a little bit and Quinn moved the couch all the way forward so he can do his Mario Maker. And the kids' bathroom is still looking good and Quinn has kept his room really, really nice. So I'm proud of him for that. And the big spare room upstairs is completely empty. So there's nothing to clean there. And even Emma's room is really good. She did get some Hatchimals for Easter. So there's little Hatchimal crummies all over the floor. So I got to vacuum that up. And of course the vacuum died. I forgot to charge it. I need a second battery. The master is clean, of course, cause I don't make a mess of nothing. And I am loving the closet. I packed up all those clothes, you know, and it looks great in here. The master bathroom looks really good. Since I did that deep clean of the shower, I didn't want it to get all nasty again. So we are all showering in the other bathrooms. It's working out just fine. All right, guys, the whole house is ready for show. Everything looks good. Everything's in its place. So we'll attempt to keep it that way tonight and we'll just straighten up in the morning. Since we got so much packed up, it really wasn't that bad. I guess having less stuff does make it easier to clean. Maybe I need to rethink the things that I kept after minimizing. Maybe I can minimize one more time. Because <laughs> this is actually pretty nice, not having all this stuff all over the place to fix and clean and but. I hope this motivated you to clean up and pick up your house. Go ahead and hit subscribe, thumbs up, check all the links down below. Be sure to check out those videos I've picked out just for you, and I will see you next time.